Well, here we are, less than three, two, three days after the master, the maestro, the one and only Kim Jong-ji has passed away. They haven't even done the memorial service. His body is not even called. People are still mourning his loss. I still see posts. People are absolutely gutted. And, uh, and we have this. We actually have this. I was not going to do a video today. I was just going to do my work, get it done. It's a beautiful day. I was going to go outside and look at some trees, some freaking clouds. And actually, this is my second time recording this video because the first one I literally would, I definitely would have got my account deleted from YouTube because I said some pretty horrible things and I may have broken quite a few of their community guidelines because I am enraged. I am absolutely enraged. I just can't believe this. This, this absolute clown, this soulless ghoul of a, of a human being. You know, you'd think a guy with flowers in his hair would actually have some level of humanity, but apparently not. I said, hi. I just trained a model to draw in the style of late Kim Jong-ji as an homage, homage, as a homage, whatever. I'm fairly happy with the results. Are you happy? Are you fairly happy? You're the only one that's happy. Everybody is really pissed off at you. Given how complicated is his art style, I hope you like it. Feel free to use it by yourself. Give me credit, please. Oh, we're going to give you credit. You can have all the credit for being an absolute soulless piece of trash. 100% of credit. I'm not, we're not even going to zoom in and look at this because you already know that there is... Well, let's just take a quick look. You already know that stable diffusion, that no computer is going to be able to replicate it. Sure, when you, when you zoom back and you squint your eyes, you're like, oh yeah, it's, it's an inkbrush drawing with some smudgy aspects. There is no way this even comes close, so we're not even going to entertain that notion. The point is that this person seemed to think that this was okay. And then this person, when being greeted with just people saying how incredibly disrespectful and disgusting this is, just doesn't understand that. And seems to think that, well, I don't understand why everyone's getting so upset with me. And yes, I would like credit. You know, I put in the work to train the AI. You, you didn't do anything. You, you put a couple of images into a, into a stable diffusion folder against all that's good and decent in the world. That's what you did. And you are getting an absolute massive amount of hate, as you absolutely should. And it is not enough. You deserve all of it, and you deserve more. Whoever your employer is should be made aware of this, and they should fire you immediately. Because unless, of course, you're like a... Uh, a banker on Wall Street, and then, of course, having no moral compass is actually a, a boon for them. It's a something they look for, then maybe they'll give you a promotion. But for the rest of the world, for the art world, you should absolutely be terminated and blacklisted. You have disrespected someone who has the respect of everyone in the art community, everyone on the periphery of the art community, everyone who has ever picked up a pencil and said, I'm going to draw a little th anything. This man who you are disrespecting has their respect and you are spitting on his grave. And then he goes on to say, hey, for some reason, a few people are raising concerns about this. Obviously, the work, even if it was perfect, wouldn't replace an artist's mind and talent. What makes you think that this has anything to do with that? You're absolute human garbage. Then this guy replies again, tripling down. It's messy, yes, but try to mix it with reference pictures. I'm AFK now, so I can't show you, but it gives nice results. <sighs> then he's going on some, like, you know, moral conversation about AI art. You can embrace it or not. That is not what this is about. This isn't about how scummy AI data sets are. This is about disrespecting a man whose body is barely even in the ground. And you not understanding why it's not okay. <sighs> then he goes on and he just triples, quadruples down. And for the record, I believe there would be a very gray line. There should be a debate. 
it won't be easy because we can control how much a style is used and almost making it. And then he goes to throw like, what, what are you even talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? Nobody is talking about that. The only thing that matters is that you are a disgusting human being who does not understand how disrespectful this is and did this. Uh, the only reason anybody would do this is because you are looking to capitalize off of his fame during the worst possible timing. Oh, and you are definitely being capitalized upon. You just don't see it. You're an absolute clown. I mean, every single one of these comments goes on to say, to just, in varying terms of aggressive, to just trying to actually explain why it's so fucked up, there's literally hundreds of these comments. Everybody is pissed off at you. There is not a single person on here saying, oh my God, this is so cool that you did this. And nor should there be. There are comments on the comments. It It is shameful. Like how many animals did you torture in your backyard as a kid? All of them? Yes, all of them? It, it's unreal. Look at this. What's wrong with you? Everyone is telling you this is disrespectful. Please take this down. Show, this, show some respect. Use your hands if you want to pay a homage on it. Wow, you suck. This is tasteless. This is in French. I can't read that. I hope you fail at everything. You shouldn't even say it's in his style because this is absolute garbage. This is totally sick. Why would you assume you deserve any decency in this? Because, you know, he said, be cool. Like, he's like, please be cool about this. Like, if you said, please be cool, it's because you know what you're doing is not cool. Right? So... We can infer a level of awareness here that you understand how fucked up this is, but think that by saying be cool, people will be like, you know what? Okay, we'll be cool. You know what? You're right. You said be cool. We're just going to let this complete affront to one of our heroes. Just we're, we're going, you know what? We're all, we were, we were upset, but since you said be cool, we're going to be cool. <laughs> Use your common sense, man. You have hundreds of actual artists telling you that you are wrong. You failed to think about how fuck this, fucked up this is. And then you failed the second time when you doubled down. You must have no soul. You are a shameless ghoul. You don't have a single artistic bone in your body. You're trash. Double, I mean, I'm adding in words, but whatever. Doubling down makes you even more repugnant, you fucking ghoul. We're not going to be cool. You just don't get it. You are full of shit. You are pillaging his work and disrespecting his memory so you can get your stupid AI art notice. Piss off. It goes on and on and on and it's just, unless this guy takes this down this is just going to keep going so look kim jung ji would probably not even approve of the language i'm using from by all accounts he was this incredible warm human being who when people would come to his demos or he would go visit a studio was more interested in them, was more interested in their sketches, was more interested in engaging the people as people. And I, I know he would probably, if he was listening to what I was saying, he'd be like, just calm down, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to calm down because I think that's what he would say, not because this absolute clown of a human being said be cool. But go on, go find his Twitter. I saw someone on Instagram post this. They blurred his name that. I have no idea why you would even do this. This guy deserves all this hate and so much more. So go find this absolute clown at BG underscore 5U. Whatever the fuck that means. And let him know how you feel about this. Because I'm sure you feel something. And wherever he is, wherever Kim Jong-ji is, I hope he's resting in peace. I hope he's up there in heaven painting the endless canvas surrounded by all of the incredible and wondrous characters that he invented so spontaneously beautifully and organically i hope they are hanging out just as happy as can be i hope he doesn't even know about this because he would not like this he would not like this at all 
and I'm sorry if my tone betrays the man's spirit. So I, I will be repentant for that. But this is where we're at right now. This is what I've been talking about. AI is a tool. It is the crappy human beings who will use it and abuse it that I have a problem with. And that's a bigger conversation. And we're just going to let it go there. So, absolutely unreal, guys. This, this makes me incredibly angry and incredibly sad at the same time. I'm sangry, you could say. If you want to show homage to Kim Jong-ji, buy one of his books and support his family. Go buy an inkbrush pen. Go watch some of his tutorials. Try your hand at it. See if you can even remotely get a piece of it. And if you can, then you're, you're doing better than most. Because all I could say is that he was the best to do it. I, I could watch those videos of him doing those huge drawings, you know, forever. It's just amazing. He was just so amazing. And I'm sorry that this is happening. Okay, guys. I really didn't want to make another hate video this week. I really didn't want to. But this is even worse than the last one. So I hope you guys are all having a great day. Don't think about this crap. Just remember him. Support his estate. Try to draw like he did with your hands. And uh, let's, uh, let's send some good energy to his spirit. And uh, it's okay to be mad about this, but let's not dwell on it. I am, going, I, I am going to shift my gears as soon as I stop recording this video. That is, that is what I can do. Even though I, I'm probably not. I'm probably going to like break stuff in my house for like a solid 45 minutes. Okay, guys. I will talk to you soon. Good luck in the wars to come.